Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. If you check my YouTube channel, then you have seen that I have posted a case of thyroid nodule which was mimicking like an embryo. A lot of you have told me to check the beta ACG of this patient. Well, this is a malignant nodule, hopefully, because there is a high vascularity within the solid part. I'm in the middle of my night duty and I'm going through a 30 hours of duty today, so it's a very toxic night. Right now it's around 2.30 a.m. And already in this night duty, I have gone through 22 ultrasounds, including two ruptured ectopic pregnancies. So this is a very relaxing night today um, because this type of patient load is very minimum for us. Anyway, so let's jump into our today's case. Today we are going to see a case of foreign body granuloma, which ultimately formed an abscess cavity. A 55 years old female patient came with painful foot swelling. She had history of a fishbone impaction three months back. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the high frequency linear transducer view of the ventral aspect of the foot. You can see a heterogeneous irregular complex area with thick wall within the subcutaneous tissue plane. This is an abscess cavity. Well, if you look carefully, within this abscess cavity, there is hypergate collection or debris or pass. But if you check more carefully, there is a linear ecogenic structure within the abscess cavity. The surrounding irregularity of the fat plane is seen due to inflammatory change. Here is more magnified view and you can see a thin ecogenic linear structure within the abscess cavity. This thin linear ecogenic structure is nothing but the fishbone. Patient tried to remove the fishbone with a nail cutter and easily it got impacted here. So the age of this fishbone within this area is about 3 months. When we have put the color Doppler, you can see there is increased peripheral vascularity. It indicates the surrounding inflammation. Here is another view. You can still see high vascularity surrounding the lesion, indicating inflammatory change. And the picture you still can see this fish bone within the abscess cavity which shows peripheral high vascularity but no central vascularity as the abscess cavity contains the dead tissue. You can see this echogenic structure quite well. Here's the picture you can see this echogenic structure within the irregular thick walled abscess cavity containing some debris also. The skin appears slightly thickened and surrounding fat plane appears irregular. The length of the fishbone is around 10 mm. Here is the abscess cavity which is seen around 3 mm deep to the skin. Another view of the abscess with fishbone inside. Here is the color Doppler picture. The abscess cavity shows peripheral vascularity. The vessels are very prominent as it was impacted here for around 3 months. Definitely some changes should happen. So in summary, a small linear ecogenic structure of about 10 mm length is seen within a hypoechoic collection along with debris bounded by a thick irregular margin and surrounding fat plane irregularity at the ventral aspect of the foot below the calcaneum. The most superficial part of the fishbone was around 3 mm deep to the skin surface. Color Doppler shows increased perilational vascularity. So this features concluded as a case of foreign body granuloma due to fishbone impaction with abscess formation. Now the take home message. When you see an abscess cavity, don't forget to check the underlying bone. It may show some irregularity with or without communication with abscess cavity as this inflammatory process may also involve adjacent bone if persists for a long time. Thank you for watching this video. 
Hope it helps. If it helps, don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel. We are planning to post some cases in our community tab. So don't forget to check our YouTube channel's community tab. If you are a subscriber, you will get update about our posts. So don't forget to check them. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.